And we are back with another episode review of Big Brother 26. This is episode 27, the eviction episode that came on last night. As I told y'all in my last episode review, I wasn't able to review it yesterday because I had a show. I went to a wrestling show. Maybe I'll show a clip from there. I met Mickey James and WWE, former WWE superstar Elias, uh, WWE legend, The Godfather, all of that. It was a really good show. I had a very good time. But I'm also about to go to another show really, really soon. So I have to do this review really, really fast. And I figured that the episode review, the episode wasn't like super, it wasn't a lot to talk about. It was just like the eviction. Because we're on AI Arena and like, so, and I can start, we started with the veto and I'm pretty sure we all knew like the veto got used on Angela again and Quinn went up. So, Quinn went on the block and he was optimistic about staying, he thought he could stay. But he ultimately ended up going. Uh, there was a little bit of drama between Leah and Angela. Leah also had some drama with Chelsea. I feel like I should do this review as more of a spoilers for what is to what can we can expect ahead because the feeds actually just turned back on about two hours ago, maybe an hour and a half. So I'm gonna get into that after I get done with this episode. So Leah is her closest ally is Quinn and then Angela. So. Leah convinced Angela to also vote for Quinn to stay. So we get to the, like, the speeches, right? So the speeches are, like, Chemo's was very basic. Chemo barely did any campaign in this week. He was just, like, there, and, like, he thought he was safe. Uh, right now in the house, it is, like, three dynamics. It's the trio, as in Rubina, t -Core, Chemo, and then the other trio, which is, like, a form trio of the more comp, the comp beast trio. <laughs> Comp Beast, you know, the more physical threat trio, which is Cam, Chelsea, and Mackenzie. And then you have the two in the middle that are a duo. Uh, well, at the time, Quinn was there too, but Angela and Leah. Let me, I, I know this is all over the place, but Quinn ended up getting voted out. His speech was just like. You can tell he's a fan. Like, he mentioned all types of stuff. He was referencing stuff. And you could tell while he was talking that he was trying. He had this speech memorized or he knew some points he was going to say. And it was just like he was trying to remember. Because he stuttered a lot. He paused a lot. He had to think a lot. Uh, but he ended up getting voted out. The only people that voted to keep him was Angela and Leah. Uh, and he was very salty. He was like, y'all suck. And that was for real. I feel like that was for real, what he said. He gave them all a hug. Rubina, this was a very embarrassing and awkward moment. She tried to give him a friendship bracelet, and he was like, nah, I'm good. And then, <laughs> even when he left, he, just, he left really fast. He was like, yeah, I'm good. He went out. Oh, also, Julie did not host tonight. Uh, it was the first episode that she's ever not been at because she actually got COVID. So I hope she gets well soon. Uh, I thought that Jerry, there was a guy named Jerry O'Connell, I think, from The Talk, I think. I think that's where he's from. Uh, he did a really good job, in my opinion. I liked him a lot. It was refreshing to see a new host of the, uh, Big Brother, to be honest. I wish, kind of, that they would have got Arissa from Canada because I do watch Big Brother, well, I haven't watched in a few seasons, but I did watch Big Brother Canada. Some seasons of Big Brother Canada are just better than Big Brother US, uh, but that's to going off on a different tangent. Um, but I wish they got Arissa to host. That would have been cool. But this guy, Jerry, did a really good job. Quinn was salty, but he was okay. Like, he didn't, like... He wasn't salty in his interview. Like, he was salty at himself, but not to the house guests, if that makes sense. First member of jury, uh, Angsley announced that she's going on vacation or whatever, so there's going to be a new person uh, or new AI to take her place. And it starts with, like, a J. I think it's Janky uh, <laughs> is his name. And we see when the feeds turn back on. So at this point, now it's the two trios, the Comp Beast trio and the... We're going to call them the Nerds Trio because that's what T-Core calls. Like, T-Core always talks about being the leader of the nerds and all that. So, that's why I'm calling them nerds. I don't honestly think, like, they're nerds. But the Physical Threat Trio, the Nerds Trio, and then we have the duo of the mother-daughter, Angela and Leah. So, everyone's pretty much uh, rooting for An uh, Leah or Angela to win because we don't want one of the duos to win and just put up Angela and Leah because that's boring. So... We find out that Leah actually won the HOH, so congratulations to her. I don't know what it was. I think it was physical, though, because she said on the feeds once it came back that she didn't expect to win a physical competition. Unfortunately for me, because I'm more on the side of the nerds trio than the physical trio, 
Uh, Leon wants to target the Nerds trio. And it's so weird when the numbers are this small when she's like, I feel like y'all have my back. How? The numbers are so low. Like, how would they, How does anyone have anyone's back? Like, other than one person, you know? Like, they already have a clear trio, so it doesn't matter, which, I don't know. I, I wish that she would have went after... She's clearly close to... But I guess it makes sense for Leah, though, because she's close to Cam. Like, they used to have their float ma flirt mans, and then she's close to Mackenzie because they have their me, like they're friends but they talk crap about each other all the time throw each other under the bus so the only one that she's not close with is Chelsea and if she puts Chelsea up she has to put one of the other two up and she's close to both of them she's not close to anyone in the trio so it looks like she's leaning towards putting up Chemo for the third week in a row Chemo and Rubina that looks like where we're headed uh, out of them like I like T-Core the most, so T-Core, as long as she don't go home, I'm good, but T-Core is never going to get Chelsea out, is a problem, so that, that's, and I feel like Chelsea's just, it's her game to lose, so I need Chelsea to be evicted, that's what I want to happen, but I don't look like that's happening this week, so that's, that's our new HOH, Leah, and her target, look like it's the nerd trio, and it's going to be either Rubina or Kimo. Also, what uh, Janky did was like, kicked all of them out the house it seemed like they're all outside so like if they're out there for the whole week this is gonna be crazy and where are they gonna do the competition is the competition gonna be inside i don't know this is very weird their closet is like behind a little wall like they're sleeping out on these cots it looks so uncomfortable i would love to be on big brother because this seems like just an experience but this is one that i've never seen before this is weird I know they did the one where in Big Brother 24 was it where half the house were in the house and half the house were outside uh, in the backyard but this seems like way different than that like everyone's outside in the backyard they only got like ice cream and pizza to eat they're sleeping on cots it just it seems very weird I don't know but I love it I can't wait to see Sunday's episode but that's it for this video y'all uh, be sure to leave it a like comment subscribe share it on all forms of social media and until next time y'all I will catch y'all later